Hello everyone and on International Children's World Book Day we are sharing um, amazing authors with you and one of those amazing Serenity Press authors that we have is Monique Mulligan. Welcome Monique. Hi Karen. It's, uh, I always love our conversations, it could go anywhere couldn't it? <laughs> Especially when we're talking children's books, you know it brings out this childish quality so we'll embrace it, we'll embrace it. <laughs> So Monique, your journey with Serenity Press started back in, was it 2016? Was it with, with 2017 with My City Mom? Yeah, a bit earlier, like um, 2015, I think we did the Rocky Romance. Yes, um, yes, 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 exactly. So, we, we remember we released My Silly Mom and Mother's Day. We did 2016 yeah. or 17 because uh, yeah so and um, like my silly mom was a book that you did with the awesome veronica rook yes which was so fun can you just talk to us and i know i'm pulling you back to the box <laughs> can you share with us um what that was like because that was your first real you know the first children's book experience Oh, look, do you mean do you mean the writing like the actual like collaborating with veronica or any writing and then go into the, the you know working with Veronica okay well I think my silly mum was a was a book I'd actually drafted many years before when my kids were little and I was thinking about um the silly things that that my mum did when when I was a little girl and then the silly things that I seemed to have picked up from her yeah you know when you say um I'm never going to be like my mum and I'm gonna <laughs> my copy um and, and so I'd, I'd written all these little notes down about about these silly things that that um, mums do. And when Karen said she liked to see the story, then then I showed that to her and kind of went from there. You know, a bit of a rewriting and um, you know, really tightening up that story. There's some pages from it. It always makes me smile when I see it. Um, and then getting Veronica involved in doing the illustrations was great because she really got what I was trying to you know that just the humor of it it's just meant to be a very light-hearted not moralistic kind of story just one about how mums you know mums can be pretty serious and all of that and they're constantly telling us what to do and everything but there's also that that silly side to them if you if you look yeah yeah I love it. I, I just make it's just bringing me right back and my kids yeah. do love this one and they do say it's yeah. mom. <laughs> it is a it is a, an awesome book and, and I remember the whole process of coming together and the magic that was happening between you and Veronica and Tana and I have just spoken about this as well that mm -hmm. author illustrator freedom whenever you're able to come and go can you just share a wee bit about that because I think that should be more predominant in the industry yeah I was so fortunate really to to meet Veronica and and you know, Tina and I have both also talked about this before because Veronica is quite, um, she's, a, she's a fun person to work with. She particularly likes doing stories that make her laugh, I think. And so My Silly Mum um, was one of those stories. And it was just a matter of her coming up with some ideas for, you know, this is what I think the mum might look like. And then I'd go, mm, you know, maybe maybe you could make her look a little more like this because I had this this idea of her looking a bit like my mum did when I was a little girl. So she did that and these went backwards and forwards until we sort of had the, this, this character. She was, her, her idea of it was so close anyway. So it was, it, was, it was good to see we're on that same kind of page there. And then she would just send me these illustrations through and you'd just see this concept of the, you know, the line drawings, very rough and you go, yeah, yeah, that's great. And so she would then tell the story again, but through her images and it would just draw out all these little subtleties and things. Um, yeah, just, a, just a, a really fun thing to do. I looked forward to those emails because, we, oh, what has she sent to me today? so nice to see words come into life and visuals yeah. isn't it it's just that so then that led us on to this baby oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all love Bar yeah. fergus and how <laughs> did the kids not love to be able to have permission to say the word fart tell us about that oh look so when i was a little girl that was a band word in our house along with um idiots and bum and stupid we couldn't say those words and um so 
my boys, I try to get them to, to not say fart, but they being boys and, you know, just going on to school, they thought it was a brilliant sounding word. And so they would say it as much as possible. Um, so I, I sort of, again, I drafted this story and it was more of a chapter book actually um, with a lot more going on and thought one day I might get back to that, but life got in the way. And, um, and so the story, you know, just sat in the drawer for many, many years until Karen said, I'd like to read this story. So um, and there was also this encouragement, this amazing encouragement from school kids because I'd taken my silly mum along to a school and then I'd shown them this picture I drew of Fergus, just a, you know, rough, I guess, getting him into my head and wondering, could I do this? And they loved the idea of him so much that I knew that I, I should just follow it up. And so back to rewriting, making it into a, a sort of a, a fun Again, very light-hearted story, this time with a little bit of a message about bullying, but without really pushing it too hard. But it does lead, lead to these really great conversations with kids about it. It does, doesn't yeah. it? And, and really interesting to see the interaction in the classroom. As you said, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a word that you or your, your boy said, wasn't it fluff or something? Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have the same impact, doesn't it? No, the fluffing dragon. And, and I play with that when I go and talk to kids at schools because yeah. they'll say, you know, Fergus the fluffing dragon. They go, no, <laughs> that's not what it's called. So, um, um, and I think they get a real thrill out of seeing an adult say that word that, you know, they kind of know is it's not naughty in the same way as it was when we were growing up. Um, it's really common, but it still kind of has that little tinge of naughtiness to it. And so it never fails to make kids. And I've noticed adults laugh. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because we're coming from that generation. Yeah. And that, that's this is what I love about your, your um, children's book authorship is that you, there's so much humor in it. And, you know, whenever you're writing novels, it's not that it's, it's so much serious, but it's, you know, they're literary pieces. But when you write, um, children's books and also your novelettes there's mm -hmm. humor in it and, and I just love that aspect but let's lead on into Alexandra Rose you're going to have to hold it up because I don't have a copy here there we go and the illustrator for this is different it's Cat Fox and yeah. so another a different illustration experience but it's mm -hmm. nice to see Alexandra Rose coming to life and again it was pinning down that character that mm -hmm. was the important thing wasn't it it was. It was. I, I think getting that that character right is is so crucial to to it. And um, Kat did a really great job. Again, you know, she sort of sent me these these images of Alexandra Rose, and I'd given her a bit of an idea of like this kind of scruffy looking four year old, and um, you know, not not too perfect looking, and and just just kind of head, wild hair sort of thing. And so she came back with this lovely idea of what or who Alexandra Rose would look like. And yeah, it's just, it's just again, it's a really fun book. And she's really helped to, to bring out that fun because you know, she's added all these little details in that just tell that story with that those little, I don't know, little extra moods and subtleties that that can get missed by the words. Yeah. And she's catified your character because Kat is a, has a distinct style and you, you uh, know her work when you see it, but it's awesome. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It, really, it really suited the story. Yeah. So um, children's books are not where you're at now, Monique, but I know you'll miss them. I know you'll miss children's books. And you <laughs> never know, you might be called back. But for now, um, you've, got your three, you've got three children's books out there into the world. And um, and I'm sure you'll still go and read them to kids and, and things like that and have fun with them. Is that yeah. the plan? I, I do. I've got um, some exciting news happened earlier this year where all three of my children's books were, um, well, they've been dramatised by Pajama Drama yeah. and they are, um, so, so now there's these scripts and the person who runs Pajama Drama L, she takes them out to schools and daycares and stuff. And so the stories are being shared in a completely different format um, 
to how they started and it's just a really lovely evolution of those stories. So later this year I'm going to join her at a couple of those events where I'll get to see the story sort of acted out with kids in real life. Um, that's exciting and I've got a few um, other book week events coming up in August and so I'll still you know occasionally do things with kids in those ways um, and I love it it always makes me I don't know kids kids are a great audience you come away from it just feeling so so warm and um, just watching them engage with you is, is really good adults can be harder to read sometimes yeah <laughs> you're saying, oh I just want to get that one later <laughs> but with the kids you know it's you often just have them there and they're hanging on to every word and it's a great yeah. you're so good with kids my my kids adore you <laughs> <laughs> it is that um, but um but whenever you've brought humor into the books it yeah. just there's the, you know you're able to it just relax it's not so, such a serious conversation they're able to just have fun but learn through it like fergus the farting dragon has a really good moral in it you yeah, know it, yeah. it really does and, and a bit more words than the other books but i um it's a really it's one of those awesome books that you could have the conversation around like what does that mean to you what do you think about that it's just yeah. so good it's so true and I think humor is humor is my way of kind of dealing with with different things at, at different times like you know sometimes silly things happen sometimes you have a bad day and I'll often make fun of myself in those moments and you know so I'm known to put a silly thing on Twitter and just go guess who just walked into a wall or you know guess who just you know did this um and I used to write a column for the newspaper and it was all based on humor and and I look back now and I say I think that was me as a as a mum with four kids at home trying to cope with something that was really sometimes overwhelming and so I'll just find the funny side of it um and turn it turn it into a humor thing and that got me through it yeah humor is an amazing coping mechanism we highly recommend it. Go there instead of anger. Oh, <laughs> Choose humour. As long as as long as you don't use it so much that you're not dealing with, you know, the, the issue. Yeah. But I always found like even in romantic comedy, like it's yeah. just a, a really good way to um to to bring my characters together was was through humour. And for me, I prefer doing that than trying to force them into some really, I don't know, sexy situation that isn't quite right for me. We do love, we love your love less. But, you so well. <laughs> yeah, but that humor, humor for kids. I mean kids love it. Kids, yeah. kids really enjoy that. Laughter's the best. Oh, I'm a great believer in that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I do. I just think, you know, it's just a big hearty laugh. It just is a big cure. And we can love that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Monique and I have had a lot of adventures. I'm sure you've seen many of them. If you've been watching Serenity Press's journey, but you haven't seen them all, <laughs> you will never. <laughs> there, was, there was the driving in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did survive. I did. I did. I went to the parking ferries. <laughs> <laughs> in the parking ferries, they're the wonderful. Parking ferries, they're leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a whole new book, Monique. <laughs> if i ever write another children's book then maybe <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness do you see do you see what happens when we get together yeah. thank you so much for joining me monique and yeah. um, do you want to share with everyone where they can um, find you they can find me at um, Monique Mulligan author on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and you can find my books um, on online bookstores and you can find them at serenitypress.org and and you also write the most amazing blogs so I want to navigate <laughs> everyone to your website because if yeah. you are an aspiring author or if you just enjoy as Monique brings humor into her blogs and shares a lot in, it's just a, a really good um, blog series to follow so where can we find that that's at moniquemulligan.com yeah yeah go and follow it guys I promise you won't be disappointed thank you so much for joining me Monique thank you Karen okay. bye bye everyone bye. happy international world book day bye, bye. <laughs>